Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Blade Runner. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving into another sci-fi movie and one that is actually also directed by Ridley Scott. We just watched The Martian here on my channel and it seems I can't get enough Ridley Scott because today we're doing the original Blade Runner. I think it's funny that I keep accidentally landing on Ridley Scott movies in such a short period of time. I guess that says a lot about my friends over on Patreon who are voting in these polls and deciding what I watch next over here because uh, they keep picking Ridley Scott films, which I'm not mad about it. I like Ridley Scott. They also advise me that there are multiple cuts of this movie. There's a theatrical cut, an extended cut, and a final cut, which is Ridley Scott's cut. So today, Per their suggestions, we're gonna be watching the final cut. I personally enjoy watching movies where I know what the director wanted to do as opposed to the studio. Sometimes the studio makes good decisions and a movie might be better when it's the theatrical release, but a lot of times if it's a good director, somebody like Ridley Scott, you wanna watch his version of it. So I'm excited to check out his cut. I also know that there's another movie in this series called Blade Runner 2049. I don't know if there's other sequels or if it's just that one. I know that one was made a lot more recently. So that might be something that we have to visit here on this channel as well. But I'm excited to get into this one and see what it's all about. I'm definitely anticipating a lot of action. I see that Harrison Ford is in it. I'm excited to see him again. I haven't seen him in a while. I literally know nothing about this movie actually other than uh, directed by Ridley Scott and Harrison Ford is in it. So this one is definitely going to have a lot of surprises because I really truly can't even, I can't even guess what it's about based off of the title. I don't know what a Blade Runner is. So I'm excited to just kind of be surprised and dive right in here. But real quick, for those who don't know, I do have a Patreon page. If you are interested in catching my full length reactions to everything we watch over here on this channel, just make sure to click that link below. You just have to have your own copy of the movie to sync up along with me. Also make sure to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram where I do exclusive posts that I don't do anywhere else. But that's pretty much all I have for this intro, guys. I want to keep it short and sweet. I'm just excited to get on into something new with you guys and watch a fun, action-packed movie uh, directed by one of my favorite directors. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution into the next Nexus phase and being virtually identical to a human known as a replicant, the Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility and at least equal in intelligence to the genetic en engineers who created them. Oh boy, replicants were used off-world as slave labor in the hazardous exploration and colonization of other planets. I bet they didn't like that. After a bloody mutiny by a Nexus 6 combat team in an off-world colony, replicants were declared illegal on Earth under penalty of death. Oh boy. Special police squads, Blade Runner units had orders to shoot to kill upon detection any trespassing, trespassing replicant. This was not called execution. It was called retirement. Oh my god, so we have like crazy advanced AI that look exactly like humans. This is like an Among Us situation, kind of? Except where the humans are the killers. Why are building, what, what? Are those buildings shooting flames off the top of them? Oh Jesus, what a lovely place to settle down. What is this creepy pyramid of Giza? It's not really a pyramid, but it kind of looks like one. Whoa, the lighting style for that scene is so trippy and scary. Sit down. Oh Jesus, does he have to put his eye there? The Tyrell Corporation scares me. There's a lot of creepy companies in a lot of Ridley Scott movies. You look down and you see a tortoise, Leon. It's crawling towards you. Tortoise? What's that? <laughs> Leon! <laughs> He's really putting up a, a fight with this test. Oh my god. What is happening? Is he a replicant? He's not doing so hot. Describe in single words. Only the good things that come into your mind. Jesus Christ, about he... About your mother? He looks terrifying. Let me tell you about my mother. Can anybody only describe their family? <laughs> ah! Holy f***! <laughs> I was gonna say, can, is it possible to only describe any family member in only positive words? Oh my God, that gunshot scared me. I wonder if that guy was a replicant or if he was a Blade Runner guy hunting replicants. And how did he get a gun in there? Hey Harrison! I really like the lighting and art style so far for this. It's really cool. Hey. Oh, he's not gonna get to enjoy his meal. Oh, bummer. He say you under arrest, Mr. Decker. He say you Blade Runner. Captain Brian Stoker. Brian, huh? 
Oh, there he goes. Why is he under arrest for being a Blade Runner? I thought it was a good thing. I thought they need they wanted Blade Runners. Wow, they totally could make a fun Blade Runner ride. Whenever I see sci-fi movies, I just think about how they like most of them would make for awesome rides. Yeah, he gets to take his food with him. That's good. It's kind of funny seeing like this is a futuristic movie and there's like an ad for Pan Am on a building because Pan Am was around in the 80s. This movie was made in the 80s, right guys? Or was it in the 70s? I could be wrong. I've got four skin jobs walking the streets. They jumped a shuttle off world, killed the crew and passengers. Oh. I'm twice squid now. Oh, he doesn't want to do it anymore. You know the score, pal. You're not cops, you're little people. He made a little origami chicken. <laughs> what a nice little touch. I don't think I never had one of these. Oh, here we go. We're cutting back to this guy. That's Leon. The only way you can hurt him is to kill him. <laughs> Harrison Ford's face. I love his his quirky facial expressions. Nexus 6. Roy Batty. Incept date 2016. 2016! Oh my God, they thought that was so far in the future because it was, you know, but that's like in the past now. What if he falls in love with a replicant? I don't know why I feel like that's gonna happen. The designers reckon that after a few years, they might develop their own emotional responses. So they build in a fail-safe device. Which is what? For your lifespan. They can only live for four years? Now there's a Nexus 6 over at the Tyrell Corporation. I want you to go put the machine on it. And if the machine doesn't work? He doesn't have an, uh, any ideas past that. <laughs> they were right though, Coca-Cola is still around. Man, the amount of air pollution is disgusting. Earth really looks rough. I'm not sure if they explained it or not. It's hard to retain all this new information, but I wonder what exactly the Tyrell Corporation does besides building replicants in the past. I wonder if they're just in charge of a lot of operations, like the way the company is in Alien. Well, there's gotta be some wildlife. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, there's gotta be some nature and wildlife somewhere because there's an owl, but we're inside. It's artificial? Of course it is. Oh, that's so sad. Must be expensive. Very. <laughs> I like how she waited until she finished walking to say that. Is this to be an empathy test? Capillary dilation of the so called blush response? I like, it seems like everybody's gonna act like kind of. It's, I wonder if a lot of this movie is just gonna be having a really hard time discerning who's who, which is why I said, oh, it's like Among Us, or even like the thing where you just can't tell who's a human and who's not, because already these people are acting very like cold and intellectual and not very emotional, or like Harrison Ford's just been so grounded and casual. And like, I believe without a doubt that he's a human, but like so far these two people are just very like, <laughs> You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a thing we struggle with this whole movie. You've got a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection plus the killing jar. Ooh, Jesus. I would have no problem surviving in this world. People would know I was human immediately because of the way that I react to everything and I'm so emotional all the time. She's a replicant, isn't she? I'm impressed. Wow. She doesn't know. She doesn't know she's a replicant? If we gift them with the past, we oh. create a cushion or pillow for their emotions and consequently we can control them better. Never mind. I thought she was human and it was just trying to trip me out and make me doubt by the way she was acting. But no, she's a replicant. So everything I said is irrelevant. And they're implanting memories. That's cool. Is this the, oh, did they go to the hotel where the, where the replicant, the address? That's, is that where they are? I think that's where they are. What is that? What is that? Shaped like a teardrop. What is with him just doing these miniature origami figures? First he did a chicken, now it looks like a little person. I wonder if that means something. It's gotta mean something. Time. Enough. Who is this creepy guy? Is this, is this the replicant, potential replicant leader that we saw with the pear cap on? Kinda looks like him. Someone was there. <gasps> Oh yeah, that's Leon, yeah. Well, these guys are creepy. They only live four years, right? That's what they said, the lifespan is so short. That's so interesting. <gasps> ah, gross! Ew. Wow, the art design for this is insane. It's so, everything looks so grimy and gritty and dirty, but also like the color scheme is very neon and futuristic It's and funky. I really like it. Oh dude, be careful. What is he hooked up to? I thought they were gonna kill him or something. What do they want with this man? His eyes? Freezing. Did he just realize that they're replicants? Oh boy. 
What are they doing to this man? I just do eyes. See? Oh, he's like a eye scientist? Oh, he, he designs eyes? They're gonna kill this guy, aren't they? Oh my god, he's freezing to death? Oh, that Sue was keeping him alive. Sebastian? Sebastian who? This is up. Stop leaving eyeballs on him! Oh my god! I'll tell you about my mother. That's probably why he shot that guy. Got him maybe angry? Maybe they're starting to experience some emotions and he got angry about the question of a parent because he was created by the Tyrell Corporation. I don't know. Or he just decided he was done with the test. <laughs> Decker, 97. 97, thank you. Danke. It's a German elevator? Wow, how tall is this building if he's on the 97th floor? Oh! <gasps> how did she get in there? Holy f She was just sitting in that elevator corner waiting. Was I right? Is he gonna get it on with a replicant? Are they gonna become friends? I think I'm a replicant, don't you? You remember the spider that lived in a bush outside your window? The egg hatched. The egg hatched? Yeah. And a hundred baby spiders came out. And they ate her. The babies ate the mother? Spiders are savage. Those aren't your memories. They're somebody else's. They're Tyrell's nieces. Oh, look, she looks sad. See, she's having real emotions. So even though they're replicants, do they eat like human food and drinks? And I guess the this, this cigarette that she smoked wasn't bad for her parts because she must be able to eat and drink and do all the things like a normal human would do. Does she go to the bathroom? Like these are, if she didn't do these things, she would have to figure out that she was a replicant, you know? Oh, he really, he dropped that bomb on her. She really had no idea. What does that say? Oh, I barely got to read that, Harrison Ford. I was thinking earlier, 97 floors up. That is scary if an emergency happens in your building. Like a fire? Is this one of the other replicants? It's one of the girls that he was shown, I think. Is she sleeping in the trash? <gasps> oh my God. Is she putting up an act? Or is she not putting on an act? I don't know what's going on right now. I'm lost. I don't think you're lost at all. I think you know exactly where you're going. What's your name? Chris. Mine's J.F. Sebastian. <gasps> oh, oh, you're screwed, J.F. Sebastian. Why'd you tell her your full name? I got stuff inside. You want to come in? Wow. And just like that, he just invites her into his apartment. I would never, never, ever, ever do that. Could never even imagine inviting a stranger into my apartment. Oh boy, you're screwed, Sebastian. Yeah, I live here pretty much alone right now. Oh, great. You shouldn't have told her that. The lighting design for this movie is blowing my mind. I love it. I love whoever designed the lighting. This is so cool. Oh, yeah. oh he didn't mean replicants. He literally meant toys. That's kind of cute, but also creepy. Are we back in Harrison Ford's place? Yeah. Oh, he's a musician of sorts? What the f Why is he dreaming of a unicorn? What? Okay, that was weird. I wonder how that's gonna come back around. Did he just put a photo in a TV? Like a DVD? Oh, to scan it and zoom in on it. That's cool. Like even the lighting on his face right here. It's so beautiful and it just pulls your eyes right to focus in on his face. It doesn't give too much away. I just love it when light is like, it's just enough to leave the mystery there, you know? Is he looking in the mirror? Oh my God, he's really going all in on this photo. What is it? The f is that? This is a really good computer to be able to pull this much out of a photo. Does that somehow match up with that stuff? Wait, how does it match up? I'm dumb, I don't know. Am I supposed to know this already? Or is this gonna get pieced together slowly? It wasn't the same like hotel room, right? Fish. Oh, does he think it's a fish scale? There is a maker serial number, snake scale. Wait, a manufactured snake? Are all the animals dead in this world? So they all, so all the animals are artificial in this world. There aren't any native species or just naturally born wild animals anymore. Are they all just manufactured with serial numbers? It's crazy. There's the snake guy. Look, Dr. Hewis is down in Earth sector, China town. You didn't have to do that much threatening or convincing. He was, <laughs> he gave that up pretty quickly. Why do they have masks like that? Is that supposed to be sexy? They just look like Jason. Hello? Oh, he called Rachel. Does he feel bad? Why don't you come on down here and have a drink? I don't think so, Mr. Deckard. Oh, he got charged for the phone call. It wasn't even that long. Is he gonna get, is he have feelings for Rachel? Was I right? Is he gonna fall in love with a replicant? Miss Hillary and the snake. Watch her take the pleasures from the serpent. Ew, what? 
Is that what I think it is? I don't, this is a weird place, man. Rachel, I, I don't blame you for not wanting to go to this bar. Excuse me, Miss Salome, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, he just put on a voice. I'm from the uh, Confidential Committee on Moral Abuses. What is he doing right now? What is this charade? I like how she's just showering while he's here. She doesn't care at all. <laughs> oh, she don't take no <laughs> She knows who he is. Oh God. So she got him in the throat real good. <laughs> oh boy. Why is she in a plastic suit? I mean, I've been on board with the wardrobe thus far. I just don't know why she's got that plastic overcoat thing on. Yeah, it's easy to get lost in a city like this. I know I've been commenting on the art style this whole time. I really dig it, but I also really dig like the wardrobe, the costumes. You can tell people really had fun with this. You can't shoot her with all these people around, dude. You might kill the wrong person. Or is she, is she the replicant? Did I miss that? Does he know that she's a replicant? <laughs> You can't, oh, there's too many people to shoot right now. This is so dangerous. She's got to be a replicant, which is the only reason he's holding a gun at her, maybe, right? Get out of the way! Stop. He missed. Oh, God. That, that plastic thing has got to be slowing her down. She probably would have been faster without it. Oh, we got her. Oh, whoa. The, like, level of opacity and all the lights. It's so trippy. It's always kind of funny how... Oh, Whenever I see people run through glass that easily in a movie, I wonder like how many glass doors I could run through. <laughs> that sounds so stupid to say. But you ever think about that? Like I'm not gonna do it because it would hurt me severely and I would lose a lot of blood. Okay, so she clearly had to be a replicant, right? Oh, <gasps> that's Leon. Leon's right behind you, dude. Or wait, is that not, is that a person? Cause he looks really upset. He looks up. Did he shoot a human being? I can't tell if she was a replicant or not. It must have been if Leon was there, right? She must have been a replicant and maybe he just was shaken up by it. One more to go. There's three to go. There's four. Why are there four to go? Rachel disappeared, vanished. Didn't even know she was a replicant. He's gonna make him kill Rachel? That's not gonna happen. He's not gonna kill Rachel. Rachel, Rachel did nothing wrong, okay? She's just a replicant. We can't let her be. She didn't ask to be created. Neither did the others, but they've killed people, so that's why they need to be retired. He's not gonna kill her. Leon. Oh! <gasps> My birthday's April 10, 2017. How long do I live? Four years, right? So April 10th, uh, 2021. Heyo, he would be dead right now. This Leon dude has, the, the actor playing him is a real psychotic face. He's really good at doing the crazy eyes. Rachel, Rachel saved his life. Good job, Rachel. Oh my, oh, they're totally gonna be friends. Part of the business. I'm not in the business. I am the business. No. Oh wow, she looks like a scary, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? The director. Her eyes look like, um, Tim, 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 ah, Coraline. Is it Tim Horton? No, that's the coffee place. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I'm sorry. Tim Burton. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. You know those files on me? The insect date. The longevity. Oh, right. Because she's going to die. I feel bad for her that she's going to die sometime soon. Classified. But it's her, it's her birth. She's not allowed to know when she was born. Didn't look at her. Come on, man. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Is she gonna take her hair down? Is she gonna let it, let it down? Oh yeah, the sexy music. I didn't know if I could play. She didn't know. She just could. I don't know if it's me or Terrell's niece. Oh. Oh boy. Harrison Ford, she's gonna die in like a few years or even a year or less. I mean, oh, Jesus. That's not good. I know this could kind of be interpreted as sexy, but this could also kind of be interpreted as terrifying. It's only sexy because it's Harrison Ford. Will you kiss me? I can't rely on you. Say you kiss me. Can't rely on my what? Kiss me. Harrison Ford looks the, like the robotic one here. I want you. Do, do you, honey? Or are you, are you just scared? I don't know what's happening. I can't tell. Like, was she scared? Or did she actually feel the same way and she was running from those feelings? I don't, does she have feelings? I think she has feelings, right? I think she does, but I'm just, I'm just so confused about that interaction. Got an artificial rat on the table. There's a unicorn. Hey, yo, a hearkening back to uh, Harrison Ford's dream. Oh, it's this girl. We're back with Sebastian. She changed her look up. She got clean hair. Oh, she's got the fake eyes too now. Is this like a lighting thing on the replicants? They have eyes that look like creepy like that. 
Oh, here he is. He's arrived. Oh, Sebastian, you're Methuselah syndrome. My glands, they roll too fast. Oh, so that's why you look older? Hi, Roy. <laughs> Roy, you creepy man. God, you're, you're so screwed, Sebastian. You're gonna die. Oh my God, this set is so cool. I, uh, I cannot stop raving about the lighting and the art style. It is brilliant. It's so weird and eclectic. What generation are you? Oh, he knows. I figured he knew. <laughs> I can do that too, but I gotta warm up for like 20 minutes before I can do that. We've got a lot in common. What do you mean? Uh. Similar problems. Oh, like he's aging too fast and so are they. They're gonna die in four years. Is that what they're after? They wanna survive? What? Oh, I do feel bad for these guys. They just have emotions and they just don't wanna die. I can't fault him for that, you know? Oh, he got him in. Holy sh How did he get them in so easily? Oh my God, this is his room. Hey, Mr. J.F. Sebastian. Well, that is a creepy automated uh, recording or voiceover system. Oh, wow. His room is so different from any other room we've seen. Let's discuss this. You better come up, Sebastian. Oh, God. Oh, Tyrell, it's over for you, man. Where are your security guards at, Tyrell? A man like you should have a lot of security guards. Stay here. Oh, God. Stay. He told him to stay there. Jesus Christ. I want more life, father. Oh, yeah. There's his creepy eyes. Yeah, the owl has the same eyes. That's why you need low light for the test, the Van Kampf test. The light that burns twice as bright burns half as long. And you have burned so very, very brightly, Roy. I've done questionable things. Also extraordinary things. Oh God, I feel like he's about to kill Tyrell. I don't know. Boy, this man is sweating a lot. Oh, Sebastian's just crying over and across. Wow, this is a slow process. He couldn't have killed him quicker than this. You had to smush his head in. He literally smushed his head in. You couldn't just choke him. You had to smoosh him. That is so awful. Don't kill Sebastian. Please don't kill Sebastian. Oh no, he's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill him. Oh, and the owl is unfazed. Whoa, that is scary, man. What's he gonna do now that he knows he's gonna die? Is he gonna go crazy on the world? So a lot of interesting themes in this movie, like when do we become human? Like what is the definition of a human? Because I think a lot of his emotions are very human. Hello? Hi, is Jeff, sir? Who is it? Oh my God, it's Pris. I'm surprised that she stayed here. Like she had to have known they were gonna come investigate, but maybe, maybe the replicants don't care anymore because they know they're gonna die and there's nothing they can do. So they're just like, F it. I really wonder where they filmed a lot of this movie for sets like this. I mean, they had to have a lot of money because these sets are crazy. Did we ever go over the, why they're called Blade Runners? Like I get that they're people that retire replicants, Oh, Jesus, that was horrifying. My God. <laughs> but why, why Blade Runner? Why is that what they're called? Oh, the toys. Oh, that's hella creepy. Man, I could not be a detective and walk in on this shit. Are you kidding me? Oh, she's pretending she's one of them. Oh, no. Oh, this is horrifying. Harrison Ford! It's the one in the veil. It's her. He knows. Oh, my God. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, my God. It's her. It's her, don't move on. Oh wow, they're really strong. Jesus Christ. Oh, they're really strong. Oh wow. She twisted him around. Oh my God. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh, he hit a circuit. You, that's a circuit breaker right there. You, you tap something wrong. Shoot her again, Harrison Ford. <laughs> Holy f Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Oh, there he is. Oh, goody. Oh boy. Harrison Ford. Oh, this is going to be the most formidable one yet. He's not going to be happy when he sees the love of his life is dead. Oh yeah. He's not happy. <laughs> oh, shit. He was too fast. Not very sporty to fire on an unarmed opponent. Well, you could kill him with your bare hands pretty easily, so... What is... Wh oh, f Oh, no, he's gonna break his arm. I don't want to watch this! I don't want to watch it! I don't want to watch this it! This is for Zora! No! No! 
I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Oh, he broke two fingers and then gave him the gun back. He's playing games with him. This is f***ed up. Oh, Decker. Oh, Decker. Rachel's not here to save you, Decker. Oh, this is scary. Oh, no one wants to hear that. That's not good. You don't want to hear that coming after you, especially when it's a person. It's almost less scary when it's a real wolf coming at you, but when it's a human howling at you, that's terrifying. Is he just trying to get, climb up? I mean, isn't Roy gonna be able to get up there? Not yet. <gasps> is he dying? You guys, is he dying? Why do I remember him seeing that? Uh, did we see that clenched fist earlier on in the movie? Why do I remember that? <laughs> Ow, why is he doing that? What the f is he doing? Oh yeah, I get why this movie's rated R, man. This is f***ed up. Is he doing that so he can use that hand as a weapon? God, that's the spirit. Oh no, I hate this taunting. It's freaking me out. Him taunting him is so f***ing disturbing. This is like a nightmare. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt. Unsportsmanlike. Oh, he's totally dying. His arms are going blue. He's trying to climb the roof in the rain. The rain really heightens the stakes, I'm not gonna lie. Because it makes everything wet and slippery. Is he gonna meet him on the roof? I didn't realize this was gonna have like horror-like elements to it. Where is he? Where the f is he? Oh, there he is. How did he get up so quick? He just popped out of there and he's already standing up. Harrison, oh my God, the, the tolling of the, of the bell tower. Is the clock tower is ringing. I don't like it. What does he have in his hand? Is he just gonna let him go because he thinks he's gonna die? He's holding a dove? What the f***? He's holding a dove. Well, he really made that jump look easy. Why is he holding a dove? Where the f*** did he get that dove from? Is he gonna offer peace? What the f*** is happening? He saved him. Why did he save him? Was the dove really a symbol of peace? Oh my God. What the f*** is happening? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ship. <laughs> I'll explain why I'm laughing in a minute. All those moments will be lost like tears in rain. Oh, is he crying right now? Oh, he is dying. I was laughing because Tyler always quotes that whenever he's talking about crazy things he's experienced in his life. <laughs> like Burning Man. He was always like, I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Whatever of a riot. And he always, he always quotes that. Like all the time. I just have a question. Where did he get that dove from? There's a lot of interesting metaphors in this movie. And just like existential questions of like, what does it mean to be human, you know? I mean, damn. I guess you're through, huh? Oh, he got up on the roof. It's too bad she won't live. But then again, who does? You mean that she won't live longer than four years? Is she at his apartment? Rachel? He's not gonna kill her. Is he just scared? Her hair's under there. Did she die? Wait, she's awake. Wait, no. Is she? Yeah, she's fine. What's happening? Is he trying to sneak her out? What's going on? Is he trying to... <gasps> the little paper origami that the guy would leave. What the... It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. But then again, who does? What is happening? Is that the ending? What? I was wondering that whole time what if that unicorn dream that Harrison Ford's character was having was going to be relevant, what it was standing for, because we then we saw the unicorn in... Um, it, a part of the set design in Sebastian's apartment and then seeing the little origami unicorn at the end. I wonder if that means that Rachel's a unicorn and that she's like a special replicant. There's definitely a lot to unpack with this movie. It's interesting because it was, it was slow paced. A lot of you guys definitely said that the pacing wasn't for you. I actually didn't mind the slow pacing because it, it meant that I was able to give a lot of commentary and not have to worry about talking over stuff. And even though there was a lot of slow pacing, there was still a lot to this movie. A lot was happening in the stillness and in the silence of each scene. So I definitely feel like I could watch this again and catch a lot of things that I missed this first time. I'm excited to talk about this with Tyler and unpack it a bit more. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to laugh at that big climactic moment at the end where Roy was giving that big monologue, but 
That is literally a thing Tyler quotes all the time, and I didn't realize that it was from this movie, so it caught me off guard. <laughs> And it made me laugh. Really loved the art style for this movie. I know I kept raving about it, but it was just so eclectic, so unique, so well thought out. Like you could really see that every detail had been thought of. Um, I love it when sets feel really full and just overflowing with stuff. And every single set in this movie was just overflowing with character and um, props and all sorts of things. I mean, even in Sebastian's house, seeing that little unicorn up in the right hand corner, it was so subtle and it was in shadow. And I even noticed it because I was just thinking, when are we going to see a unicorn again? Why was that something that we saw? So yeah, the sets really were really juicy, had a lot to offer. Same thing with the wardrobe, the costume design. I really enjoyed that. The lighting design was absolutely phenomenal. I love it when lighting design really serves as a key storytelling element. And it definitely did in this movie. I also really like it. I love it when the lighting design of a movie doesn't reveal too much, like they aren't afraid to use shadow and darkness a lot. This movie had a lot of shadow and darkness. And for me, I get pulled into a movie more when it's not so perfectly lit and it's not easy to see everything because there's a mysterious element to that. And it makes me as the audience member want to figure out what I'm looking at and want to see what's shrouded in darkness. When I see a movie that's just kind of brightly lit evenly, it's, it's a little bit less interesting lighting wise. Um, so I really enjoyed that aspect of this movie a lot. Love me some Harrison Ford. Man, he was a hunk in this movie. I'm sorry, I just have to say it. He, he was so handsome when he was younger. I mean, he's still handsome now, but um, I love revisiting these movies where he was younger because I'm just like, whoa, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, I can't help it, guys, I'm sorry. I'm only human. Um, yeah, this is just a really cool movie, really interesting. It's fun to dive into all these sci-fi movies with you guys later in life because I've avoided so many of them for most of my life. It just wasn't a genre that my family watched. And yeah, it's fun to revisit all these classic sci-fi films with you guys so many years later and see what I've been missing out on all these years. Definitely a lot to unpack with this one and I'm really excited to talk about it with you guys in the comments down below. So if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out and it lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden, bye.